Why does Dilly deserve it? Honestly, he fucking doesn't. He's an asshole, bro. He's a ginger f it, it is really astonishing that he's gotten through life this far. I mean, he's a ginger. He's a big old bastard now. I think FaZe would be a little crazy to not choose him. I mean, he's the whole package. He could do anything. I feel like he deserves it just because of, again, everything that he's been through, you know? He's always smiling. He's always laughing. And that always puts me in a good mood and everyone around him. I know that if he were to win the million dollars, he would give back to everyone he loves and also get back to the community. Shit, we met like sixth grade year, like in middle school, and I freaking met his little ginger ass sitting next to him. I think Dylan deserves it because, I mean, he's a fucking goat, bro. We was working at Jimmy John's a long time ago. He showed me his editing, and I was like, hey, bro, this is dope. You should make a music video. We decided to make a music video together, and it came out pretty good. And since then, he's kind of just, you know, met a lot of artists from, from me and from doing his own thing. And just built from there, he turned nothing into something, and it's really, it's really crazy what he's done. I know he's been through a lot. We actually met freshman year of high school. We were talking about quick scoping, and he overheard me, and he, he's so interested. He was, he's been interested in Phase for a long time. I mean, I remember back in high school, he was talking about just constantly how he'd be so cool to join Phase, and how every like, it just so excited about it and we 1v1'd and well he, he just he kicked my butt but he's been a really close friend ever since I really do consider him like a brother to me. Everyone growing up they wanted to be in phase doing trick shots and now Dylan has the opportunity to do this and I really do believe he can do it. Through everything that he's been through I've, I've never met someone in my entire life that has just did his own thing and really made something of himself. He always, I always see him, you know, helping people. He's really outgoing and, you know, he, he, he always got a smile on his face and laughing and, you know, he's good energy to be around. I've known Dilly for about, uh, I want to say like two years and a half. He puts his uh, heart into his, into his craft and he always wants the, uh, whatever he's working on just to be top notch. He doesn't like to play games. He doesn't like to not take it serious when it comes down to the work. So. Yeah, we can goof around and stuff. Yeah, it is fun. But at the end of the day, you know, he's always just trying to get work done, so. Honestly, I've never met anyone like like him. I mean, he's energetic and kind and just all around a good person. Wait, press, press stop recording on that, though, because we're not going to have that audio. We're going to have this audio. Fuck, dude, I need the audio, though. Fuck. Okay. I need it. I can't. No, I can't half-ass. Yeah, no, no, no. One of the first videos I saw from FaZe had to have been FaZe ill cams. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm done. I can't do this. <laughs> I was trying to sing Spotlight. <laughs> I love that, and, and I love that, and I love that, and I love that. What really got me into editing, I made this team called eBay. I had this other person in the team. He edited my clips with the song that I wanted to use. When I saw how my clips were edited, I cried. I don't believe in a nine to five job. If you're not happy with it, don't do it. You have to be happy with what you're doing. And that's something I really, really believe in. Cause the most depressing moments in my life after, after losing my mom were working a job and having to pay rent and pay bills and those were some of the hardest times in my life. But being where I'm at now and being in top 100 again, this feels crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like a movie set right now because I feel like I already won and I, <laughs> I feel like people are already gonna watch this, but like not only do I wanna take myself to the next level, but I wanna show myself to the world and I want the world to see my worth and what I'm capable of and I want to inspire millions of others and show them that no matter what you go through you can still make it on top you can still do what you love for a living you can still be a good person like I just want to be someone that helps others that's really all it is and FaZe Clan will help me do that and FaZe Clan will be the next step in everything that I do and I'm here to help the team and do what I can, you know? I can't just have you guys in phase listen to what I have to say about myself. I wanted you guys to hear some of the people who are closest to me and mean the most to me.
speak for me as well, not just myself.